What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, this is tea room. Neek's son slip up and Lena. I don't know. Neek robbed. Yeah, let's get it. Was out of town in Rhode Island for her sister's graduation. King was at home with the new baby and Kaiser. Now, in the video that King posted, people assumed that Kaiser may have heard something from Neek and slipped up and referred to Lena as a mother. Also, too, Lena and Ocean is on the way. Yeah, so we. I sense monkey. Yeah, I sense monkey. Who a monkey? I sense monkey. But who's a monkey? Nobody. I just said I sense monkey. Oh, okay. Like I it's the nobody for me. <laughs> now, someone states, I sense monkey. Oh my God, Kaiser, <laughs> he knew what he was doing. And then someone responds with, he was talking about Lena. And another person states, don't blame Neek for anything Kaiser do or say. And Kaiser did that on his own. I'm not even going to lie. I, I mean, I'm not. Okay. I'm not going to not be realistic. It, you can hear things from your parents, obviously. It's the fact that he even said, I don't know. I just sent some monkey. That, see, that he did that on his own. He bad. That's the problem. He bad. Another commenter stated, King knew exactly what Kaiser meant when he said, he sensed a monkey. Monique is out in Paris right now, but she recently came back from vacation with Kaiser, Dwayne, and Dwayne's son. And upon return, she stated that she had gotten robbed. Oh, y'all. And somebody broke into the house. How you just forget that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Somebody actually, like literally, I know, broke into my house while I was gone in Puerto Rico. I watched him on the cameras. I'll try to insert some clips of the man. I don't know if he was like a homeless guy or a crackhead or what, but he broke into the house and I still have stuff in the house. Um, homeless the crackhead is hilarious. In the old house. He's talking about he think he was drunk. I still You see what I'm saying? Kaiser would just be saying shit. I don't think that was Neek's fault. I don't think that was her fault. I agree that King probably could have took that out, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? So here we are. You have stuff in the um in my. He was probably drunk. Like what six or seven year old? I think Kaiser six or seven. You know, saying that Kaiser. We know now. We got one right now. Kaiser is the nephew on YouTube that just say whatever he please and almost not the youngest, but he one of the youngest. Old ones. house in the garage and Bad. he actually like took a lot of stuff. So I want to go to the house and check on a lot of stuff, but it's just a lot going on y'all. So we literally going to pass by the house and see all the couple of things that he took. Um, I actually... He actually got in through the back door. I'm not even sure like how he knew that nobody was home, like, and it really makes me scared because he went in the house. Guys, you don't see me record. <laughs> Guys are just bad. On the third, me and the boys slept <laughs> away from the house for the first night. This is so bad. On the second. So, I mean, we had, lit I had literally just moved everything out. Probably like the first, I had just completely got the mattress that I was sleeping on and everything out of the house. And I wasn't even sleeping over there. But imagine if we were sleeping over there and he was just trying to get in the house or did get in the house. But he ended up getting in the house because I went out of town and I left the back door open for my cleaner. Women. To come and clean the house, but I had still had stuff in there. And he ended up taking the stuff that I had. I haven't been to the house yet to see Thanks. exactly what he's taking, but I guess we're gonna do that today too. But we just landed this morning. Did her and um Mr. Baker move in together? So now Kamari has finally spoken out about how she feels about leaving CJ and the drama behind in Vegas. Listen, listen, listen. How are you doing good? They saying how Kamari say Kamari. How I was going to say, how, it say, how does your daughter feel about being back home away from the jungle? Um, I'm actually doing good. I like it. It's cool. Hey, shut up. I'm pretty sick. Now you want to go to school audition for Baddies and Zeus. 
Yes, yes. I'm happy to see that. So Nike and Tavy yep. are both back home in Indiana. Now, they were speaking out because someone mentioned them being on government assistance since they had to leave Vegas. Now, of course, before Tavy left, she did have a job and they planned on making a lot of money with CJ, but that just didn't happen. Called a welfare hat. No, it, look, it's right here. It's like Shabana's be called a welfare, well, welfare hat. Should your mama call it one? But anyway, y'all love saying welfare Is because that I told y'all I get food stamps. You think I wouldn't collect the motherfucking food stamps? Baby, At the end of the day, pass them to me. We was getting them too. <laughs> now we can't, but hey. I miss them every day. I didn't realize how much bread and milk and shit cost until I lost them stamps. Oh! And in Atlanta, if you want food stamps, you gotta pay. It's not a it's not a half thing. I think it's um a, a little more than half. So you doing it for nothing. Like you really getting like thirty to forty dollars off, I feel like, clearly depending on how much you paying for. But like if you want two hundred dollars, you gotta pay like one twenty five. So I get like seventy five dollars in free groceries. Seventy five dollars is good money, don't get me wrong. But I want half. In Charlotte, I could have busted down. How much you need? Five hundred dollars. Boom! Give me two fifty. Period. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't even bother with it. Like I've been telling y'all, if y'all can ever pull up any receipts of me being on Section Eight or, or getting anything other than food stamps from the government, I will shut up. My house is not Section Eight, goofballs. It's eighteen hundred a month to stay here. On top of that, show me when we on Section Eight. Even if I was on Section Eight, it would be my house that I'm in on Section Eight. I won't be in nobody else's house. I'm not living with my mama on Section Eight. I'm not living with Tavi on Section Eight. I'm not living with child mama on Section Eight. I'm in my own shit on Section Eight. So even still, it will be mine, 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 honey. At, at four, four, four in the chat. Y'all see where I stopped it on? What number she be calling out? Four, four, four in the chat. Let me tell y'all something. In a minute, y'all, some of us gonna wish we was on Section 8. It's getting wicked out here. Price up on everything. Fuck, you barely live out here, okay? And I know it's more people struggling than others, so Section 8 me, please. Especially if it's in a nice area. Shit. Love my food stamps. I don't have to use my cash that I work for Hello. to buy groceries. I let the government do that. Y'all should get. Do they know how no hell? Makes, Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Y'all need some. Y'all need some. Y'all need some. Y'all need some. My last time getting food stamps, I was 21 years old. I just started getting food stamps when we moved to Vegas eight months ago. Mm -hmm. I'm 36 years old. I was so happy when I started getting food stamps again. Baby, listen. Oh it's okay when, when they get grown and they gotta take people. Girl, they, it be, it be the grown, it be the grown dummies on here trying to be funny. Like y'all really grown, grown and dumb. All y'all well, be thinking is kids. It's probably the kids. No, these be grown ass people. I be going back and forth with grown. Okay. Abundance. Mad as hell at me because they don't agree with my logic. But you watching my, you watching my video. <laughs> if you don't agree, just say you don't agree. But all the everything else, what, what, what are we doing that for? You arguing with yourself? In the bonnet? In the house. Under so I'm in gonna, the house. I'm going to my girl, Cardi B. <laughs> she be outside with her bonnet and skirt. Okay. And everybody do too. So it's like, how is that welfare? Girl, okay. Y'all come back. Y'all fine. Come on, get a job. You have to have a job to get food stamps, dummy. Dummy? Is y'all cool? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Job for a school, and we're doing both. Y'all ain't slow out here. Y'all ain't slow out here. That get a real job should be uh hilarious to me. She be outside with her bonnet and skirt. Okay. Yeah, everybody. I'm going to see the dogs on the other school, side. 
I'm about to be driving them trucks. So Nike is stating that the only regret that she has is not starting YouTube when CJ first started back about nine years ago. She's stating that she would be bigger than she is now and she would have probably surpassed CJ, which Damn. is hard to do now because CJ's popularity kind of dwindled down after he left Royalty and the Kids. I have no regrets. My biggest regret baby. is not getting on YouTube when my baby daddy first got on YouTube. That's my biggest baby. regret. That's a lot of people's biggest regret. I was trying to tell people at the time, like, do YouTube or do it with me. You know what I'm saying? It was like, nah. I'm like, all right. Especially now. All right. <laughs> it's harder now. Now it's real hard. Other than that, I don't regret nothing I did. You can't because you can't everything I did made me who I am today. Huh? Don't but that's the only thing I wish I would have did. When he was on there popping his his stuff, I should have got right on there. I would have been surpassed where I'm at now, honey. But that's about it. Diva, what boyfriend, girl? He's still there. Hmm. We got 10 minutes. Hold on. Somebody said, honey, do you feel about white guys? Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing against them, but. I like white boys. Your man down there white. Girl, calm down. He light skin. Y'all like white boys. Cast with a ghost. Oh, I hate that for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they was together. White. Girl, calm down. He light skin. Y'all yep. like white boys. Cast with a ghost. Oh, I hate that for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought these two was together doing it and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a Leo child, you'll have a whole understanding. Listen, I'm going to get me a boo. You get you a boo. We're going to do them and do each other. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just how we think. Sad. It's sad for y'all, not sad for us. Um, 222 in the chat. For those that don't know, it's 222 o'clock. You really would have really been bigger than him. We would have been neck and neck if I would have came out on YouTube when all that drama was going on. I think we'd have been neck and neck, but I you might be right for the same fact. Y'all know I always come with the receipts, I'm always coming how I'm coming. You needed to, you needed to stay humble, like with a million followers, you would be a mess. PJ, please, who signed you on? A million followers is going humble me. No, my favorite color is blue. You want to sit at the table? All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Oh, my God. Down in the comment section below, I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.